that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. Jen Basilino of the Kosha Real Estate Group, LLC, is a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. Me in this game. We got big plans. Overcoming every challenge. And right now, that means getting by him. It means putting in the time to get faster, to get stronger. One thing is for certain, I will never be outworked. Enough? Never. All right. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. started right because CCM is in the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu. In Western Morris County of ArpWave Neurotherapy, ArpWave has been used by many NFL, NBA, NHL, MLM, PGA, MLS, and top Olympic athletes to help improve performance, speed up recovery, and can excel your ability to get back to your sport and make you less prone to injury. Visit MaximumHealthPT.com. Rich Latman, realtor with Keelan Latman, Sotheby's International Realty, enjoys helping clients through the process of selling their home and finding their dream home. Whether you need more space, are a first time home buyer, or ready to downsize, Rich can help. Rich is a National Association of Realtors Circle of Excellence Award winner and one of the top producers in his area. With Rich, you can always expect expert analysis, excellent service, and exceptional results. For all real estate in Morris and Somerset counties, contact Rich Latman at 908-839-8487 or by email at rlatman at klsir.com.
Watching your loved one play high school sports is a special time in their life you don't want to regret missing. If you're not present for these events due to drinking, misusing medication, or lost control using drugs recreationally, the team at Recovery Centers of America can help. My name is Don, and I'm a treatment advocate for RCA, and I stopped drinking 30 years ago. If I can do it, so can you. Muster up the courage and call me anytime, even in the middle of the night, at 973-722-4720 for a confidential conversation so we can get you back in the stands where you belong. Concerned family members can also call me. Again, any conversation will be absolutely discreet. I am here for you. Just pick up the phone. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. Hey, don't you just love it when more Sussex Sports broadcast your games? Or do you prefer a silent motion-detecting camera just following the movement on the court? Let's face it, the only real way to watch your favorite team is through Morris Sussex Sports' award-winning service that it's brings you play-by-play -play commentary, right live instant replays, cool cinematic graphics, real-time scoreboard, fun fan engagement, and much, much more. Plus, all of our broadcasts are free to watch. Grandparents can easily pull it up on their smart TVs, and alumni can watch from all over the world. So if you want to reserve us, have your games broadcasted the Morris Sussex Sports way, then just reach out to me, George Muha, at george at morrisessexsports.com, or call or text me at 973-713-5944. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable, and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down, if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast, it's worth the wait. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures, that means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. Do your glory days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry, the team at Better With Physical Therapy's one-on-one -on -one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. you can get better with Better With Physical Therapy located in the Madison YMCA. Request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS.
Our turkey had a resume. It would say it's 99% fat-free, filler-free, and raised without antibiotics. But our turkey already has its dream job at Jersey Mike's. Premium meat makes a sub above. Morris Sussex Sports has a big goal we want to ask your help in achieving. One of the most popular things we do is publish digital trading cards of athletes. We feel strongly that high school athletes are one of the most important parts of our community, and the trading cards allow us to recognize and celebrate as many athletes as possible. So we have a lofty mission to create a trading card for every single athlete that wears a sports jersey in the Morris Sussex area. But to do that, we need more local businesses that want to help us by sponsoring these trading cards. This is a great way for a business to endear themselves to the communities they do business in. And not only would their business be featured prominently as a sponsor of a new scholar athlete every week we also advertise them across our social media our website and our game broadcasts and we get over 4 million views a week 80 percent of whom are adults 35 to 65 there is no other publication or media company that has even close to that reach in this region so if you know of a local business that loves to support the scholar athletes in their town or their surrounding area and would benefit from the exposure we would bring please send them our way just call or text 973 713 Three five nine four four, or email George at MorrisSussexSports.com. Getting that perfect slice is satisfying, fulfilling, and rewarding too. But we don't do it for fun; we do it for fresh. Slice to order makes a sub above. Is it time for you to replace your roof? Well, give Hadco Builders in Chester, New Jersey a call. They've built an amazing reputation over the past 30 years as one of New Jersey's top builders. Hadco will replace your roof the right way at a super fair price and usually get the job done by the time you come home from work. Call or text Tony to get a quote today at 973-818-8516 or visit them at hadcobuilders.com. set and TJ Santeda has it for the Vikings. Santeda brings it right past two defenders. Look at the speed in the open ice. Santeda, great stick handling, great shot. Here's Carlotti. Oh! In the end zone it is. Caught. Charge. Good for the pass. Here's a shot. Right in front. Score. And that is a base hit. The run will score. And freshman pull a check. Gets the strike. Anthony Grosso is going to make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home happy. Grosso for three. He got it! Uh -huh. And we welcome you here to West Mars Mendham High School and Mars Sussex Sports coverage of New Jersey High School boys lacrosse. And today it's a Waterman Division matchup between the Glen Ridge Ridgers coming in at four and one, and the Mendham men, uh, Minutemen trying to get uh, back on track. They're at one and four coming into the season. Brett Luther, Matt Javoni here with you, and you know we look at the, the numbers going into this game, Matt. And obviously they're they're tilted towards the Ridgers. Um, got a couple of real big uh, producers goal wise uh, or points wise, as you'd say, in the in the uh, the Benson brothers, Will and Jimmy, combining for 24 goals on the season. Yeah, 24 goals from the Benson brothers. It's a team full of siblings, and the Benson brothers are just leading that charge. They also both have double digit ground balls, led by Ethan Lyons, who has 33 ground balls. Yep. The that's going to be a huge difference in this game, the time of possession, the ability to get those ground balls, something that Glen Ridge throughout this season on paper has done a lot better. It's as you're seeing the numbers on the screen there, uh, Will Benson with the 16 goals on the season. And for um, West Mars Mendham here, you are seeing Tim LaRosa with nine goals, Gavin Timoney with 12 points overall. Uh, it's going to be important, as we were mentioning ground balls, it's a 135 to 90 advantage for the Glen Ridge Ridgers coming into this game. Both teams have played five games, uh, and that's going to really lead to the possession a lot. If you can get that possession, and, and Timoney's got eight goals, four assists for his 12 points to go along with 17 grounders, which is second on the team, uh, 
that's really going to help mend them because they're going to need possession against this Glenridge team. Yeah, Mendham's going to need to get Timoney going. They're going to need to get La Rosa going. They're going to need to get Patrick Carter going with six right. goals on the season. They're going to need some contributions. It's a young team, Mendham. They're going to need some contributions from the underclassmen here. The big thing that you have to point out, though, is if you look at the schedule, Mendham has had a tough opener to this mm -hmm. season at Bernard's against Mountain Lakes, a team that's just off the national top 25 list for high school lacrosse right. at Roxbury, which is their win of the season. And then at Chatham and at Pope John, not an easy matchup at all. Any of those it's this is going to be a test for them. But if they can win this game, right. get a division win, be one and two in the division get things rolling it's not over for Mendham yet the season is really just getting started but this would be this is going to be a big test as to whether those games were just unlucky losses to really good teams or whether they're going to have to wait until next season mm -hmm. for their team to grow up a little bit I mean they've been in contests you know as you're seeing there 10-7 against Mountain Lakes here it's been their only home game of the season uh, you know, the 6-2 loss to Chatham, who's, you know, I mean, that's just defensive right there. 9-5 loss to Pope John. So it's not like they've been out of the woods. But on the flip side, when you look at the Glenridge schedule, they've been thumping a few teams on the course of the season. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Glen Ridge, if they are able to get ahead in this game, is not going to hold anything back. A 23-4 win at Verona. That's oh. all you need to know. If you're beating a team by 19, that just goes to show the mentality that Glen Ridge – really takes into every game they're not they're not going to let they're not going to sit and try to run out the clock and let you get back into the game right. they're going to keep scoring and keep playing like they're tied or behind the whole time and one of the players that will stick out on this team if you've watched our coverage in the past um that plays for the verona glenridge co-op hockey team rowan brennan number two he's a midfielder uh one of the top scorers in the state but obviously a multi-sport star. He's a midfielder here on this Glenridge team. Yeah, it's just you see that with uh, multiple sport athletes, especially hockey, which yep. kind of the, that team chemistry, that being able to kind of really play and pass. And the in terms, I guess field hockey would be the most similar, but hockey translates really well to lacrosse yes, as well. Yes, it totally does. In yeah. terms of just how the game is played, how you're running your offense, how you're running your defense. It's that's you're going to see. And a lot of these Glenridge people are from hockey. You recognize mm -hmm. their names from the hockey season. You're going to see that a lot in lacrosse because especially because they're in different seasons, you can go right from hockey into lacrosse. You've already kind of been training yep. some of those skills for it. I mean, you want to talk about uh, Ian Aiken, head number four, the sophomore on Mendham. Freddie Noonan, number six. They're both on the hockey team uh, for West Mars Mendham as well. So it's not like, you, you know, you get in and it's a completely different bunch of guys. There are a couple of guys that, that go over from hockey to lacrosse as well. And growing up, I've known that a lot. A lot of hockey players played lacrosse as, as well. So you're going to have some of that multi-sport athlete type of a thing going on. Yeah, and it's just, it's uh, the multi-sport athletes also <laughs> something that I just noticed before we went live. Glenn Ridge has about five or six siblings on their team, mm -hmm. which we always see on Morris Sussex Sports. If you're playing with your sibling, you're typically both going to be very good. We hardly yeah. ever see sibling duos that underperform on teams, so you can look out for those. And we already mentioned J uh, Jimmy and Will Benson, who are, leading this offense along with some others, but they like to run the offense through Will Benson with help from Jimmy Benson, his freshman younger brother. It's going to be, you're going to hear a lot of siblings. Yeah, you'll hear a lot of siblings, and we know uh, two of them on the Glen Ridge side, Will and Jimmy Benson, and like we had said, they combined for 24 goals on the season so far for Glen Ridge. The West Morris men to minute men will have their Work cut out from here this afternoon with the opportunity to go two and four on the season. We will take a quick timeout when we come back. We'll have the center circle face-off here between Mendham and Glenridge here on Mario Sussex Sports. Jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. 
Parisi changed all that. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable, and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down, if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast, it's worth the wait. Is it time for you to replace your roof? Well, give Hadco Builders in Chester, New Jersey a call. They've built an amazing reputation over the past 30 years as one of New Jersey's top builders. Hadco will replace your roof the right way at a super fair price and usually get the job done by the time you come home from work. Call or text Tony to get a quote today at 973-818-8516 or visit them at hadcobuilders.com. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. I actually used to be deathly afraid of public speaking. I intentionally became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WIS supports my passions. I truly believe that WIS wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. Watching your loved one play high school sports is a special time in their life you don't want to regret missing. If you're not present for these events due to drinking, misusing medication, or lost control using drugs recreationally, the team at Recovery Centers of America can help. My name is Don, and I'm a treatment advocate for RCA, and I stopped drinking 30 years ago. If I can do it, so can you. Muster up the courage and call me anytime, even in the middle of the night, at 973-722-4720 for a confidential conversation so we can get you back in the stands where you belong. Concerned family members can also call me. Again, any conversation will be absolutely discreet. I am here for you. Just pick up the phone. Choosing a college is a big, big, big deal. But I know I started right because CCMs are the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? It's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Back here at West Mars Mendham Stadium. 
getting ready for this contest. Both teams going to meet at center circle. Mendham and Glenridge getting ready to go here on what's turned out to be an absolutely wonderful day. You can't argue when it's 72 degrees and sunny. That's, that's just picture-perfect weather. Is I almost feel like we should pl be playing uh, Gunsmoke or something like that with the, with the way they're standing across from each other here. <laughs> A little Mexican standoff before the game starts. Uh, shoot out the OK Corral getting ready to go here. Up the two sides will square off again in this Waterman division battle. Mendham seventh place coming into this one, one in four overall. As the goaltenders will start to go to their ends, Chris Nazarian is the goalie for Mendham. Going up against the 34 of Connor Mansfield and my good friend over here, Matt, has got the numbers on both of those goalies. Yeah, so Chris Nazarian has been the main goalie for Mendham so far this season. He has 55 saves and 49 goals against him. Connor Mansfield has split time with his freshman counterpart, Brendan Lyons, so far. He has 27 saves, only 15 goals against. We will most likely be seeing Brennan Lyons in as well, as both of them have had equal time in both games so far. Brennan Lyons has 18 saves for four, with 14 goals against. Mendham controls off at that opening draw. And it's on the number 16 of Jack Sukanik. Back into the middle of the intercept, and now here go the Ridgers. The number seven is Will Benson. Team's leading goal scorer at 16 goals on the season. We'll leave it on off. Ethan Lyons, number six, gives on off. The number eight is Brad Foster. Just looking to get some control here in the early going, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Glenn Ridge wants to set up and not let Mendham get anything early. It's a good sized crowd that's here today for this one. A lot of the, many of the bleachers over there. The few rows are filled up with fans here for this afternoon's contest as this ball is being worked around. The 91 is Jimmy Benson. Here's a shot that's knocked aside. Might have nicked the post there. Look, getting a piece of it as well as Nazarian. Stuff out in front, blocked off, trying to get there was Ian Springer, number 88. And back in possession of Benson, the freshman just peels it on out. Here's a right shot and a nice save that time by Nazarian. That's what you gotta look for for Mendham. Connor Nazarian has to be in there and be able to make those saves because you know Glenn Ridge is gonna get their opportunities. But his outlet pass went a little bit too far. Now the jog forward by Will Benson. Benson on this, both Bensons on this left side early. See how they're gonna trigger the attack. Here's a shot from distance behind the net, thrown out in front. Here's a rising shot that time by Jimmy Benson. That sails on him. There's a little bit of a scary look for Mendham. They got out of, and you could tell they didn't mean to, but they got out of position a little bit there with the ball getting to behind the goal. Nearly a turnover, but then picked back up by... We'll find out who the number five is. Glenridge, and the reason why we're delayed a little bit, Glenridge got here a bit late. Pretty much started walking down the hill about 4.27. Which is interesting that they've started out this dominant on time of possession this early after getting here a little late, maybe not having as long to warm up. Oh, that's the uh, Glenridge players, by the way. You gotta hope that Mendham wouldn't be booing their own guy this early. Nope. 
Well, nice run through by Gavin Timoney, number 13, and finally had the puck knocked off of his stick. And quickly, whoops, almost losing it out of the basket that time with Springer. And then a whistle, and we're going the other way. I mean, just in the early going here, look at the aggressiveness that Glen Ridge has on defense. Mendham's barely able to even get the ball out of, uh, into their own scoring half because Glen Ridge will just run into them, knock the stick down. Yeah. Very aggressive early on here. Ball worked up top and getting knocked to the turf was Will Benson, who's now switched over. Gives it on off to his brother Jimmy. Back to Will Benson up top. That's a rough ride there from the number 12, Timmy LaRosa. And an in and score. And it's a 1 0 lead for the Ridgers. And that's just. Simple being able to pass it inside there and getting their opportunities. If you get enough of them, it's eventually going to go in. Here's a look at it again. Yeah, went low with that shot. That's something to add about this Glen Ridge team. They can mm -hmm. score in any part of the net. There's not, a, there's not a shot that they're afraid to take or a place that they want to aim. And another face-off one there by Mendham. That'll be something to keep an eye on in those uh, draws. Now first foray into the offensive zone for the Minutemen. As they look to work the ball around here early on. Coming into the middle, Timmy LaRosa. Instead, taking the jog around to look at some options here. The ball knocked out of the basket. Down to the turf goes Michael Kotarski, number nine. Foul's going to go against Glen Ridge. And now we'll restart the clock again. And you've got to wonder if there's a little bit of nerve setting in now with how aggressive Glen Ridge's defense has been early going in the game. Early on, Glen Ridge has not wanted to allow Mendham to get going in the, in the transition game. Let me work back out the 13. Gavin Timoney's got it. Takes a look. Tight marking here again. Timoney gets in with a shot and a save made that time by Mansfield. That was a good play, and it was all Gavin Timoney there. He looked for passes, but kept it with himself. He was smart with it and knew that he was going to get the best opportunity and a really nice shot there. So now it's a run forward. Long stick defender there. The number nine of Max Karate. Speed thrown back out. There's a shot. A good save made by Nazarian. It's the second good save we've seen from him in this first quarter. Nazarian could be a factor in this game. Quick run out the other way. Score! It was run up by Timmy LaRosa. Pat Carter finishes off, and we're tied at one. And just like that, I think Mendham's found Glen Ridge's really only weakness so far this game. The transition that they were able to get there caused Glen Ridge to not get any defense on them. It was just a simple pass in and shot, almost no defense at all in that transition. And Mendham's, I'd imagine their coaches have to look at that and say that they want the ball in transition as much as possible now. So Carter picking up goal number seven. Another draw one. This is going to be the other thing. There's a pass cross now, ground ball coming out. This is going to be the important part of ground balls. This one will go out. So the clock stops on every whistle. And then starts again when they blow the whistle back into play. So trying to help out our producer, Vincenzo Sebastiano, who is, uh, we all can't see the clock because it's directly to our left and facing the field. With it now, the number 40 of Rowan Killian. 
kill him, I should say. And now I'll turn back over in the other direction. So now into the zone. Want to thank the Bendham Lacrosse Boosters, as that's another save there by Nazarian. So I want to thank the Mendham Boosters for their support of our broadcast today here on Morris Sussex Sports. Cannot do it without the support of all the wonderful booster clubs that we have each and every game, each and every season. Ball be worked back up top here. 4.40 to go, first quarter. Unofficially. Vin, Vinny just went to go look to see how far off he was. 20 seconds, okay, that's not that bad. That's not that bad at all. Long stick defender, number 15. Long stick midfield, I should say, of Collier McLeod. Now it's into the zone. Running around here, Will Heisner, number five. And sent back up top. They've been safe on offense so far. They like to work the perimeter a lot. It's mm. going to be interesting to see if they could get Glen Ridge to break down closer to the net. Now the trigger again for La Rosa. Goes into the middle, takes a look, steps around one. Still La Rosa throws all the way back out for a shot that's deflected. Good deflection out up top on that opportunity and it was the 91 of Jimmy Benson breaking everything up. Here's another one in front score. Well, La Rosa got the ball back and it's like, oh, I'll take this one myself. His 10th goal of the year and it's two to one Minutemen. That's what you need to see. Players like La Rosa who has been one of those guys on the team that's leading in goals, leading in offense. You need to see him produce in a game like this and that's exactly what he did. And Freddie Noonan Getting that ball back as we're looking at the replay, really set that up. He'll get the assist on the goal by La Rosa to make it 2-1. That would be his ninth assist of the season. He's leading the team in assist, but doesn't have a goal yet. Still contributing a lot as that goal would not have been possible without him. Wonder if it was Duna maybe on the first goal. Carter was out there as well, so eight and six could get a little similar. Again, off of base off. It's four draws in a row, went one by Mendham. Certainly helps in a situation like this where you are the underdogs on paper. This ball put down low. But I mean that's the I mean the big thing, you know, you talk about it in soccer and in field hockey and in lacrosse is possession is so hockey as well. Possession is so key. And Ground balls and face-offs are gonna help you get that possession. You can hear that wind picking up a little bit and you can see the flag starting to iron out oh, on the uh, other side of the field. I bet you that feels so refreshing. 72 degree day when we started, get that breeze going on. Good possession here by Mendham. Good field that time. A step through and a bouncing shot just went wide. Did not miss by much. And that's, that's what you look for, shots like that. That was a well-executed shot close to the net. You, you're not going to get all of them, but if you keep taking shots like that, you are going to get a lot of them. You're sent back up and a save made and a clutch one that time by Mansfield. Down and back up is La Rosa. Back up top and the reset here for Mendham. Long stick midfielder, the number, nope, don't, I uh, gotta get that one as well. Going down low. Could have been Colin Monteleone who's originally listed as 26. Flag goes down. We'll get a whistle and a stoppage of play. Red, nine. One minute, flag. Red, nine. 
So it's a power play. That, that, that is really good. Among just all of the beautiful facilities that Mendham High School has to offer, one of the most advantageous parts of being able to have a booth just for your lacrosse field is that we can hear exactly what the refs are saying. We don't have to rely uh, on. That is great. So the slashing call puts Mendham to the man advantage here for the first time. Sent in, so that was nearly a stuff attempt back out top. Mendham has been working the ball all over the place, but now a stoppage as that goes out of bounds and it'll be Glenridge ball. Pass could not find connection. 2-1 Mendham late stages of this first quarter here on Mars Sussex Sports. We're glad you can join us. Brett Luthner, Matt Giovanni, Vincenzo Sebastiano, our producer. This one comes all the way down. Sent down low and we get a whistle. And timeout's gonna be called by Glenn Ridge. I mean, I understand it's not as much padding so it doesn't look as physically oppo uh, opposing when right. you're playing lacrosse, but if you have somebody running at you that fast, you do not want to get in their way. And that is just a scary sight as he ran into the offensive zone and nearly did it all himself before he decided to pass. Officials are taking a look at uh, a couple of sticks in the process. Do we have uh, some uh, equipment issues here? As you're looking at the Mendham huddle there, I think each team has had a stick looked at by the officiating crew right now. Oh, that's good. Everybody looks like their uh, their equipment is up to snuff. You can't help but kind of ad admire the what must be visual skill is the best way I could describe it of the refs to be able to see if a stick is having issues and be able to take the time out and call that and look at the stick it's just basket might be too deep that stick just got slapped out of the hand there good stick work by the 19 of John Holtz plays both defender and the long stick mid and Holtz is getting off Fired up from Chris Nazarian. Power play is over. Or not. Now some confusion here with a stoppage of the clock. All sorts of confusion. Uh, <laughs> well explained. No, he is not mic'd yeah. up. We're just that yeah. close to the action right here. That well, is, and, and well explained too. Uh, let's give full credit on that one. If you ever wanted to get an in-depth look at <laughs> what it sounds like to be on the sidelines and what these coaches and refs are actually talking about, what better place than here? Exactly. So this ball worked around now. Final 30 seconds of the quarter. Part of me is like, it's interesting they don't use the football field. I'm like, well, wait a second. You got your own lacrosse stadium, so why, <laughs> yeah. why would you, you know? There's a shot that sails wide. The clock stops with 11 to go in the period. Now it'll start up again. 
Worked around here up top for Timoni. Timoni, I should say, his shot save made. And that should end that first quarter. You hear the buzzer in the background, and we've played one here. The first quarter at Glenridge starting to scoring, and then Menham got a pair. Two one minute men after one here on Mars Sussex Sports. Jen Basilino of the Kosher Real Estate Group, LLC, is a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. Morris Sussex Sports has a big goal we want to ask your help in achieving. One of the most popular things we do is publish digital trading cards of athletes. We feel strongly that high school athletes are one of the most important parts of our community, and the trading cards allow us to recognize and celebrate as many athletes as possible. So we have a lofty mission to create a trading card for every single athlete that wears a sports jersey in the Morris Sussex area. But to do that, we need more local businesses that want to help us by sponsoring these trading cards. This is a great way for a business to endear themselves to the communities they do business in. And not only would their business be featured prominently as a sponsor of a new scholar athlete every week we also advertise them across our social media our website and our game broadcasts and we get over 4 million views a week 80 percent of whom are adults 35 to 65 there is no other publication or media company that has even close to that reach in this region so if you know of a local business that loves to support the scholar athletes in their town or their surrounding area and would benefit from the exposure we would bring please send them our way just call or text 973-713 Three five nine four four or email George at MorrisSussexSports dot com. Timing is wonderful. Vinny just on point with that second quarter about to start. Mend him up by a goal, two to one. Brent Luther, Matt Javoni here with you, and um, another base off here. This has been the big thing for Glenridge. Battle in the circle and another win by Mendham. Five for five in the circle in the first period plus. Sent up top and a goal right off the bat. Another goal, it's a 3-1 minute men lead. I mean, how can you open up a quarter better than that? That's exactly what they wanted to come out and do. Set the tone for this quarter, get some momentum back from the break there. Can't ask for anything better. Now, this is a brilliant setup by La Rosa. Uh, just La Rosa to the number 28 of George Monahan who gets the goal. Only his fourth of the season. And another win for Mendham. That's just killing Glen Ridge right now. Who would have six? All right, six for six. Who would have thought that the faceoffs are going to be the 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 deciding factor at least early going here in this game? Some of the Glen Ridge play. That's a knockdown. Another shot. Another goal. Second in a row from Monahan, and it's four one. Where did this come from, George Monahan? Somebody who's he's been a contributor, but he hasn't been one of the main contributors thus far. But that is. One more and he trip and he doubles his goal count for the season. La Rosa, another assist, and he was falling down when he made that pass. And that was just a broken down play. There's really Glenridge didn't know what to do because that's obviously not what La Rosa wanted to do is trip and barely get the pass off. There were some Glenridge players working on face offs. That's another win by Mendham. They were working on face-offs coming in. And, well, right now it's been all Mendham in that circle. Centering pass across, and a shot bounces wide. Maybe getting a piece of it was Mansfield. It's kept in. No, 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 no. Now we'll wind the clock up again. Thought it would stay in, but... Worked around here, back out up top for Pat Carter, then further on for Timoney, uh, I should say. There's a rocket of a shot that misses. 
Clock stops here. We get it going again. And this is a now. sharp contrast mm. from the kind of lackadaisical passing around the border that we saw early going in this game. Mendham has awoken, and this offense is playing better than they have arguably the whole season so far. That ground ball will be battled for all over the place, and now finally Glenridge will race on forward. Here's the move ahead, a shot to score! The number 24 of David Kelly. Although that might have been, he's the one I think that won the ground ball. We'll see it on the replay and then they just charge forward after that. See a big skirmish, there was just a group of them there. And again, that speed from Glen Ridge that we've. Oh, nice pass. Nice pass to the number 28 of John Leone. Kelly will get the assist on that, makes it a 4-2 game. And all suddenly in the first minute and change here in the second quarter, business is sure as heck picked up. First win in the circle there. And it's a race forward. Good motion and a shot that sails wide. Might have gotten a piece of it that time, but the... First face-off win for the Ridgers. All of a sudden, we're seeing shots all over the place. Mm -hmm. First period was appealing out. After this, this second quarter, everybody going. It's a 4-2 ball game. And now passes just being worked on the perimeter. Trying to step through is Foster. Throwing out in front now. The reset once more. Passes off the mark and will over and back. So it'll be Mendham ball. Good stick good check defense. from behind. Good stick check from behind. Everybody trying to win this ground ball. Well, that's a heavy chop, that. A lot of chopping going on. And finally, it's picked up by the 22. I believe that's Monteleone. Now a whistle and timeout's gonna be called. Glen Ridge is gonna call it here with 9.13 to go. Well, Vinny's gonna go check the time now. Let's, let's see how well he's done. One second off. So, an improvement from the 20 seconds oh, we saw. Oh, this is just great stuff. And he's on it. And he's all over that. So, the stoppage play 9 14 to go here in the second quarter. And this is, this is an important timeout for Glen Ridge. Even though they weren't necessarily struggling when they had to take it, they are down to a team that is seventh in the division where they are first currently. Mm hmm. They've got to calm down a little bit, get things going in their right. favor. They know that they can beat opponents like this. They just need to, they just need to find it. Yeah, and it is a confidence thing too. And you know, with each goal, it builds up more and more and more. And this is a good Glen Ridge team, so you know you're up. You know you're not going to get an easy game out of them. That's for sure. And Glen Ridge. Uh, Getting all the tests here so far today. 9.14 to go, second quarter of a 4-2 Mendham lead. It's just adrenaline during these timeouts. I can feel it and I'm not even playing, so I can't imagine what they're feeling down there right uh, now. Uh, I mean, first 2.46 of the second quarter had a lot, to, a lot of action so far. I, I haven't been counting, unfortunately, but I'd be willing to bet that there were as many shots in this quarter so far as there were in the entirety of the first quarter. Oh, it's, it's quite close to it, yeah. So both uh, teams get back out onto the field. Back 
And we're back underway here. The clock starting once more. And a step around and a step through here by Will Benson. Watched there carefully by Collier McLeod. And a flag goes up in the air. There's going to be a penalty against Mendham. McLeod was with him all the way through and not sure where it was. It's worked out up top right now. A little bit of a slip there by Benson, Will Benson. All around the perimeter right now. Just waiting for that angle to get through here. Patient approach. There's a shot and a save made by Nazarian. We get the whistle and the stoppage. White 13 would be Gavin Timoney. He's offside, so a 30-second man advantage. That's got to be what they talked about during that timeout is picking your shots, not shooting as sporadically as they were so far. Serve behind the net. Rangers trying to cut into this lead some more. Down 4-2. A lot of perimeter words. Uh, work, I should say. Power play is over. No shots were even attempted that time. Good defense. And then that's smothered in the goal area by Nazarian. This pass connects. The move forward and then the pull up here for McLeod. And then we get a whistle. And a timeout here. So let's take a brief one with them, shall we? 7-19 to go. First half in a 4-2 Mendham lead. there for them we're here for you get back the life you love Montella Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt, quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers, whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. As we get ready to start things up again here. There's a step around. Don't mind that for a second. Vinny's on that. There we go. Oh, okay. Never mind. It was in my ears. That's all. It's all good. <laughs> that's my reinitiation to Vinny. He'll, he'll, he'll pull one on me once in a while. It's all good. Ball worked around the perimeter here. Mend him up by a pair of goals. And then around the perimeter. Glad to have worked with uh, Vinny for a few years now. He's been my producer for several games. Nice one in front and another goal. It's Pat Carter, his second of the game, and it's 5-2, Mendham. And that was just, I, I didn't want to jinx it, but that was a perfect pass to the inside there right by the goal, mm. and I, I was about to say, if they don't score off of that, that's going to be a shame because that pass was just everything you want. Just a, a 
little underhand. Flick oh yeah, almost. what a fall! What a pass by Timoney. I just, I didn't I didn't want to broadcasters jinx them, but that was <laughs> that was about as clean as you could get. Uh, a little underhand shuffle right there. Uh, we'll do it again. No, we won't. That's a violation, so. Ridgers will have possession here. With their face-off success so far, Glen Ridge will take it however they can get it off of the face-off. This is true, so now it goes a face-off win for Glen Ridge. Only their second of the game compared to seven for Mendham. There hasn't been too many ground balls in a game. I can only remember about three or four maybe, so. And that's what Glenridge really on paper would have, or was expected to win at this game, which could attribute to their three score deficit. Stutter step, then slipping to the turf is the number eight of Brad Foster and then a whistle. Stoppage of play and see how they're gonna put this back in. Still Glen Ridge ball. Hard hit from behind, but we go on. Cross checking and uh, slashing of the sticks are more tolerated in the lacrosse game. Up top with this one, Jimmy Benson. Benson has to pull back out. And again, the Ridgers will work the perimeter. So that pass came to an open man, but the shot that time by Foster goes wide. It'll be put back into play here by Glenridge. End him up by three. They're just, they're trying to stick with that passing around the perimeter and just prodding, but Mendham's not really giving them anything here. Cutting down all lanes towards the goal. You can see that long stick midfield. Nice move though, and getting stepped around was Mark Morano, number 55, and still gets back in position. Down low, trying to drive towards the goal. That time was Foster, but he couldn't do so. And now a race out the other way from Mendham. That, that was pass just a little low, go ahead. That was good for the Mendham defense to keep their cool there. He got it. That was Brad Foster really got it with a good opportunity on the inside after a little bit of uh, misplacement from the Mendham defense and they were able to just keep their heads in it. Long shot that time, blocked off and then scooped up by Mansfield off the La Rosa attempt. There's an opportunity now for the Ridgers going the other way. Rista, that's a score, that's a beautiful shot that time. Will Benson, and he's cut to 5-3. And I was wondering when we would say his name first. Will Benson, the premier scorer on either team in this game, the only person coming into this game with double digits in the goals category. Tim LaRosa joined him in the first quarter, but still, Will Benson, a very good player, and that was that he was due for one. Yep, I believe that's Cam Atkinson that got the assist on that one. So, it's now a 5-3 game. Another win in the circle. How do you respond here for Mendham? That's what they really need to focus on after given up that goal. Back up top here. Will Pesner, number five. Give off. Tripped up that time was Christian Forlenza, number 77. Ground ball out of all this, and we get a whistle and a stoppage of play, and it'll go Mendham's way, and quickly restarted. 
for Lenza up top. And put down low. Cross now for the 28 of George Monahan, who's got a pair of goals here in this second quarter. That shot fanned on a little bit. Another one blocked. Ethan Lyons getting his leg in the way. That thing doesn't tickle either. And now Lyons the race out. A long stick midfielder heading on forward and passes on to the left side. It's a little bit too hot to handle. Now the ground ball comes out of this. Mendham controls. <laughs> yeah, Brett, you said that doesn't tickle and you there. Their legs are exposed out there, and yep. I would imagine, especially with the comparisons we drew to soccer earlier, with they wear shin guards in soccer. I don't see any shin guards out there, yep. and these sticks probably don't feel very good when they hit your legs. Nor does the ball, and that's what <laughs> and the ball is what got that leg there a moment ago. Now, calm reset here for Mendham. Couple of love taps there. Running it around is LaRosa, who's been the trigger man here tonight or this afternoon with a goal and three assists for the Minutemen. And just nice and patient right now for Mendham. Really, when you're up by a pair in late in the first half, you can afford to be patient a little bit. And then that bouncer is, might have, been get, might have gotten a piece of it, did Mansfield. Either way, it's just wide. And it will be restarted in a moment. Right there. That time of possession is something we said in the opening. We were expecting Glenn Ridge to kind of control, but so far it's been, it's been even or even Mendham controlled for the majority of this game. Mm -hmm. Here's a move through, trying to move through at least as LaRosa. Does get through and a save made by Mansfield. And he needed to be alert that time. I like the trick play attempt there. The only issue is when the entirety of the Glen Ridge sideline can see what you're doing, it's tough to yeah. get away with that. And there's gonna be a slashing call here. There's gonna be two slashing calls here. So the flag has been thrown. I saw two flags fly in the air. Eleven seconds, so put some time back on. You've got to love when officials. So two fouls. And you should have killed the clock on the second one. But it looks like both teams are going to. They all thought they were going off. So they're staying at seven seconds. And I think after hearing that explanation, we're going to halftime. Everybody's walking to the sidelines, so we'll take it with them. Halftime here. It's Mendham 5 and Glen Ridge 3 here on Morris Sussex Sports. Dear
glory days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry. The team at Better With Physical Therapies one-on-one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. You can get better with Better With Physical Therapy located in the Madison YMCA. Request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com. I For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. Jen Basilino of the Kosher Real Estate Group, LLC, is a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. Me in this game. We got big plans. Overcoming every challenge. And right now, that means getting by him. It means putting in the time to get faster, to get stronger. One thing is for certain, I will never be outworked. Enough? Never. All right. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. started right because CCM is in the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. Maximum Health Physical Therapy in Bud Lake and Long Valley focuses on putting patient care back into health care and physical therapy. And they're the only provider in Western Morris County of ArpWave Neurotherapy. ArpWave has been used by many NFL, NBA, NHL, MLM, PGA, MLS, and top Olympic athletes to help improve performance, speed up recovery, and can excel your ability to get back to your sport and make you less prone to injury. Visit MaximumHealthPT.com. Rich Latman, realtor with Keelan Latman, Sotheby's International Realty, enjoys helping clients through the process of selling their home and finding their dream home. Whether you need more space, 
are a first time home buyer or ready to downsize, Rich can help. Rich is a National Association of Realtors Circle of Excellence Award winner and one of the top producers in his area. With Rich, you can always expect expert analysis, excellent service, and exceptional results. For all real estate in Morris and Somerset counties, contact Rich Latman at 908-839-8487 or by email at rlatman at klsir.com. Watching your loved one play high school sports is a special time in their life you don't want to regret missing. If you're not present for these events due to drinking, misusing medication, or lost control using drugs recreationally, the team at Recovery Centers of America can help. My name is Don, and I'm a treatment advocate for RCA, and I stopped drinking 30 years ago. If I can do it, so can you. Muster up the courage and call me anytime, even in the middle of the night, at 973-722-4720 for a confidential conversation so we can get you back in the stands where you belong. Concerned family members can also call me. Again, any conversation will be absolutely discreet. I am here for you. Just pick up the phone. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. Hey, don't you just love it when more Sussex Sports broadcast your game? Or do you prefer a silent motion-detecting camera just following the movement on the court? Let's face it, the only real way to watch your favorite team is through Morris Sussex Sports' award-winning service that brings you play-by-play commentary, live instant replays, cool cinematic graphics, real-time scoreboard, fun fan engagement, and much, much more. Plus, all of our broadcasts are free to watch. Grandparents can easily pull it up on their smart TVs, and alumni can watch from all over the world. So if you want to reserve us, have your games broadcasted the Morris Sussex Sports way, then just reach out to me, George Muha, at george at morrisessexsports.com or call or text me at 973-713-5944. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. Room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. WIST gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIST Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives.
Do your glory days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry. The team at Better With Physical Therapy's one-on-one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. You can get better with better with physical therapy located in the madison ymca request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com i enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission namely by nurturing my relationship with them their staff their donors their volunteers and their board members i think the key to being trusted is really transparency what i've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. Third period underway, and it's a man advantage on a pair of penalties for Glenridge. Down two. As you heard all late in that first half there, so no base off to get things started. Yeah, and that was a weird ending to the half. It's yep. going to be interesting to see how these teams can come out here and react and perform after what really was an extended halftime. Well, seven seconds extended, but... <laughs> That's, yeah, yeah, well, you know. And now being worked around again, there's a, there was a pair of slashing infractions which each carried a minute. So this is gonna be an extended man advantage. It's releasable, as you heard the referee say. So this is almost like a double minor in hockey and that passes off the mark. Let the battle begin for the ball. Playing a little soccer over there. And now ahead goes Mendham. And Collier McLeod. Timoney with it. And again, you can chew up some of that time there. All right now, that's what Mendham's going to do. Again, extra man on, man advantage, if you will, for Glenridge, but they are not in possession of the ball here. Instead, it's Michael Katarski, number nine. And this maybe Mendham can use their advantage to kind of make Glenridge force them to uh, make some mistakes here, as they're going to be more, they're going to be more pressed to come up and get the ball rather than just let Mendham sit back there and set something up. Penalty's been killed. And with it, Timmy LaRosa. So two, man, uh, two penalties, both killed off. So that's 0 for 3 with the man advantage and nearly getting a goal there was Mendham. But that's, that's big, though, for the Minutemen to kill off the first two minutes being down a man. And that's just so everybody knows. Brendan Lyons going into goal now. They did. We did confirm yes. that they split it exactly down the middle. Brendan Lyons plays the second half. Connor Mansfield plays the first half. I don't know if that's every game, but they do split it by half between right. the two goalies. And Mansfield uh, gave up the five goals in the first half. You only give him 15 in the first five games. So that's an average of six a half, if you will. Oh, no, it's an average of actually three a half. I'm sorry. So it's a little bit more. If you're going on goals against average, it's six. Same thing as hockey. It's being worked around right now. In this type of game, the five to three defensive game is what Mendham wanted to do. They wanted to shut down that explosive Glen Ridge offense. And there's one. So Glen Ridge on the board again. It's now five four. Do you see why I don't <laughs> say these things? Because then stuff like that happens. Exactly the opposite of what I said. Just a beautiful play. And 
he was able to roll in there, get an open shot. That's all you need. Yeah, no step up there. He's able to get in pretty, pretty uh, easily and then rip it up top. I believe Benson got an assist on that one. So Connor Sutton on the score sheet now, and it's 5-4. And this one will be a big knockdown and a whistle. And it's gonna go against So it'll be Glenridge ball here. And stepping up now, Brad Foster. Ball goes on across. Uh, correction on an earlier goal, Connor Cavity, number 88. You were right there, it wasn't Leone. And a bless you to Vincenzo. But uh, Connor Cavity, number 88, was the one that scored the other goal. Benson's got a pair. Now Connor Sutton. Work back now in the hold here for Will Benson. Glenridge looking to tie things up here. Jerry Benson gets repelled. There's a look through. Pass on the side. They're trying to get down that near post, but good job defending by Mendham right now. Worked on out. So it wasn't Ian Springer number 88. It was Kevin in number 88. Apologies for that. There's a shot, and it hits the side of the net. Battled for and coming up with the ball is Nazarian. And the... <laughs> When you see that net move, the hearts yep. of the Mendham fans must have just dropped there, but a just a little bit off with the shot, and that's Mendham's got to take control there. They can't sit on this lead. They're going to have to put some offense up again. Keeper will tell you, had the post covered the entire time. By the way, thanks to the um, Statisticians for Glenridge helping us out in a couple of the numbers. They had just updated their roster this afternoon. Oh, what a pass and what a goal. Have that you, is a beaut. Have you ever seen an alley-oop in lacrosse? Because I think that's just what we saw there. Yeah, pretty much. Timoney on the goal, and it's now 6-4. Clock's got to get reset. Nope, oh, that's the earlier one, so... Regardless of what happens the rest of the game, I think we might have just seen the goal of the game, if not just the early season so far. So 6.19 will be the new time. And just as I was saying, they needed to get some offense going. That's a big score for Mendham. Only averages 6.2 a game, and they've scored mm -hmm. six just in the third quarter. This okay. is... They've possessed well. They've played offensively well. They've really run into their sets and really have found the gaps, and they win a base off here in the move forward. Jackson Kanek, who's won so many of them and scores. George Monahan's got three. And just like that, he has doubled his goals for the season. And they've all been kind of in the clutch. He scored those two back-to-back -back mm -hmm. earlier in the second quarter to get Mendham out into the lead that they've been able to hold. And that one brings their lead back up to two points. Three, uh, uh, three now. Yes, yeah, sorry, we're looking at the replay. Yes, three now. That is a big-time goal for George Monahan. And he's one again forward. Nope, he has a good job coming through that time. A long stick midfielder of Mason Giamo, number 14. Race into the attacking end. Here's a shot that's blocked off. Oh. 
This move, lots of chops, but still the move forward and a shot deflected away. That's got to be frustrating. He was able to fight through all of the contact. He was getting poked and prodded and chopped from every direction. Got all the way to the goal just a little bit wide there. Clock stopped. We have 5.40 to go here in the third. As it winds into play again. Stutter step, spin move, turn towards goal, and a save made, rebound and front score! Katarski's initial stop was, uh, was shot was stopped, but Gavin Timoney on the doorstep. And all of a sudden, this game's feeling a lot less close and a lot more like a decisive Mendham victory. I'm not saying that Glen Ridge oh, is yeah, out of it, but they need, close, to change, yeah. they need to change something. Here's Katarski again, spins. His initial shot was stopped, but getting the rebound and putting it home was Timoney. He's got a pair of goals. And another face-off win here, almost. Yeah, it will be controlled by Mendham. And then a whistle. Never mind. Loose ball push-off against Mendham. And they're going to hope that he's not right. permanently out here. He's been the the man to win the faceoffs mm. for the majority of them. That is Michael Katarski. He's been him and Sukanik have uh, no Sukanik's been winning the majority of them. Sukanik, I'm sorry. Sukanik's been winning all the the draws in there. Yeah, he's been not not as prevalent on the scoreboard, but he has been one of, if not the main reason that Mendham ground. has the lead they do. Well, that's why he's got 25 ground balls on the season, but now a race out in the other direction. Never mind, that's a trip. Uh, getting tripped up, I should say, that time. Was David Kelly. Uh, right now, Mendham has played. You wouldn't know that Mendham was one and four and Glenridge was four and one watching this game because Mendham has been the better team so far. No, and again, we've got to go back to that schedule. Mendham really has had a difficult start to the season. If they can find it here, we could be looking at a second half. Again, it would be they would have to win a decent amount of games to qualify for the playoffs here, but we'd yep. be looking at a second half of the season comeback. Let's look, I, I, when I'm looking at the eye test, I'm not saying Glenridge is good, uh, but so is Mendham. You know, when I look at the eye test here. And a lot of a lot of opportunities for PowerPoint still. Mm -hmm. They've got West Morris, Caldwell, Randolph, Sparta, Del Barton. A lot of good teams. A lot of good teams still on the schedule. A lot of good teams. When you have that strong schedule, it's always good. Worked around right now. That's thrown all the way across. Back into play here. And on it is the 88 of Connor Capony. And I think the Glenridge bench just said it best. They need one here to take away a lot of that momentum from Mendham. the perimeter right now trying to stop it and a good save made Nazarian was ready for that all the way flag uh, coming down on the play there's the whistle slashing the call and we've talked so much about Stukanic and his ability to win these faceoffs. we've talked about the offense but Chris Nazarian's done a really good job. We've seen a couple of really nice saves from him so far. We can't discredit his performance in goal. Carson Ross with the slash against him. So one minute man advantage. Second time and that'll be the case for Mendham. Right. 
Mendham's got the last three goals in this one. 8-4 lead. Right now just looking to find an avenue through for another one. Up, oh, that pass was errant. Will it cross the line? It's going to be turned on over to Glenridge. So errant pass will give the Ridgers possession here. Now ahead with this one, Giama tries to spin away. Ball comes out of the basket, still battled for. Loose ball and well, everybody chopping and finally coming away with it. Mitchell Wood, number 39. Nice pass on ahead, turnaround shot is off the mark. That was a beautiful pass and then just a little bit wide on the turnaround shot, but it was a, a, about as good of a setup as we've seen from Mendham so yeah. far. They've just been, they're, they're not up this much because they've been getting lucky. They've been playing solid lacrosse here so that far. That was close. Man advantage is over. Long pass on ahead. Here goes Foster into the zone. His shot is off the mark. First one down there, of course, and that's the way it goes with possession. Only one Ridger player there. We wind up the clock again. And now just being worked up top. Although you're seeing Glenridge trying to trigger their attack a little bit more. Sent back out up top. Dropped and picked back up. Stunder step, good defensive job that time by La Rosa. He's got a goal and three assists in this one. Here's a shot at sails wide. And back again to Glenridge. Just inside of a minute here, third quarter. Back into play and It's just the, that same bend but don't break defense for Mendham so far. They're not giving them anything. Being pestered this time is Benson. McLeod, who's played really well defense. That shot's off the mark. McLeod's played really well in the defensive half in this one. Absolutely. It's you. They've... They've been able to pack the goal. There's no opportunities being given to this Glenn Ridge offense. They, they can't set up shots like they want to. You could tell they want to be able to run in there, get a little bit of get a little bit of pressure on the inside, and they haven't had any of that. Sent out up top. Here's a shot and another save made. Battle for and there's a flag on the place and pushing and shoving. Chris Nazarian just been so solid in goal here this afternoon. And we'll get a listen to this here. Hold on. Let's see if there's anything coming up this. Oh, a late hit to the head there. Gavin Timoney, number 13. But that's going to end three. We go to the fourth. It's 8-4 Mendham here on Mars Sussex Sports. Achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship 
with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at Bliss. Hi, I'm Rob Guswell. As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. Back here getting ready for the start of the fourth quarter and an 8-4 Mendham lead, but they're going to be short for two minutes as Gavin Timoney in that hole Scuffle inside the goal area was charged with a late hit. And while they have the man advantage right now, Glenn Ridge is going to soon have a big element against them, and that is the clock, mm -hmm. as there's only 12 minutes left. They do average three points a quarter so far this season, so they're by no means out of it, but they do have to get the scoring going here. Well, they'll have some... Manpower to their benefit here to start the fourth, at least the first two minutes. Just worked up top here. This is Kaveny. Again, I want to thank the West Mars Mendham Boosters for their support of today's broadcast. Can't do it without their support or all the boosters support so thank you again to west mars mendham boosters on this one here this afternoon and please if you're that's a so oh, nice shot and a nice goal it's three for will benson he's got 19 on the season that makes it an eight five game yeah and if you're gonna make the comeback here in the fourth quarter. Who else but Will Benson and just a beautiful shot to get the scoring going in this quarter there as he was really just got the ball in the that's all that's that's all they've been looking to mm -hmm. do the entire game is be able to attack the middle like they were just able to do there. Yeah. And that's what you get when you, you have the man advantage. Mendham's defense wasn't able to defend as they've as efficiently as they've done so far. Still have the man advantage because that was a uh, that's an unreleasable penalty. Procedure on David Kelly. And that's the first non face off face off that I believe. In the second. There was the one in the first half. But it was one where the uh, Mendham player jumped a little bit early. So it's one and one in that yep. aspect. Yep, there you go. Heavy chop and a step around. Nice move there. Still working free, Michael Kotarski. And this is an aggressive defense. We haven't seen this type of aggression since the opening minutes of the game. Down three, they need to be. And that penalty is nearing an end. Oh, nice stop. That gets some hooting and howling. Freddie Noonan. I mean, you've got to, when you're able to send not one but we there was one obvious that got sent there but both defenders he was able to shake around with that stop so man advantage over and they're only Glenridge only able to get one on that they have the ball now down three Yeah, I get a whistle, and that's going to 
timeout comes first. So let's take it with them. Fourth quarter, early stages, and it's 8-5, Mendham. Tipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. Sussex Meat Packing in Wharton, New Jersey is a family owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. Back here at West Morris Mendham High School. It's an 8-5 game for the Minutemen. 9.33 to go, fourth quarter. Brett Luthner, Matt Giovanni, Vincenzo Sebastiano doing all the wonderful producing. Julia Gonson's on the camera doing an excellent job up there too. I get spoiled with, with, <laughs> with the crews that I work with. I mean, geez. Thank you, George Muha, for always hooking me up with that. It's, it's good. Glenridge, let's just start getting some towards net here, down three. Just work through again, just mend them doing a good job keeping the Ridgers to the perimeter. And that's going to work to their advantage, especially as the time continues to run down because eventually Glen Ridge isn't going to have time to set up right. their shots. They're just going to have to start taking them. We still got the time right now. And again, just all they can do is work the perimeter because they're not finding the lanes through just yet. One fake and then a shot that goes wide. Stoppage of the clock here. With uh, 31 to go, and then they'll wind it up again. When you see Will Benson extend his stick all the way like that, it's got to be a scary sight for the defense as he's just proven again and again that he can score from basically anywhere. And then when they try to get in, that's what's been happening. Mendham's been doing a good job of chopping the, the sticks there to knock a ball out of a basket. And this will go Mendham's way. This could end up being a big possession here. Step through and Katarski pulls back and goes forward again. around the perimeter here by Mendham, who has the benefit of the clock. Carter gives on off to La Rosa. La Rosa trying to work over the 23 of Cam Atkinson. And this goes out off the shot. Possession to Mendham. Clock starts again. Carter, he's got a pair of goals in this one. Stepping through, giving on off and calmly gathering La Rosa. Spin move. Get back trying to get through Timoney. Nice gather and a shot and getting a piece of it that time was Lions. That's a... <laughs> a scary sight on the other side today, George Monahan, who's had yeah. his best game of the season, and he's aggressive with those shots. Monahan 
Monahan going behind here. Here's a pass up high and another shot. And whistles to the netting. Timoney with that one. Sent back out. Oop, that pass got away. So it'll be Glenridge ball down three. Ball back in play. And you're starting to see the Ridgers press forward a little bit more here. To try to climb back into this contest. Yeah, they're gonna need to they're gonna need to take some shots. They can't you know, take two minutes to set up their opportunities anymore. They're just not at that part of the game. Do I dare say three goal lead, the most dangerous lead in lacrosse? I mean, in this situation, I don't think any of the Glen Ridge fans would disagree with you. Eight five score. Ball wound back into play, 557 and counting. It's not as if they didn't have the urgency before this. It's just been a really, really good game to this point by Mendham. And good defensive play that time. If you want to see a team get more urgent than what they already bring to the game, just put them down and then wind the clock down a little bit. And you're mm -hmm. going to see how urgent a team can play. Colin and McLeod again with a great defensive play. Now the race out the other way. Griffin Colts with a shot. Uh, he had he ran that down a good 40 yards. And you've got to like the opportunity taking it all the way in. Just work back out, and again, players having to adjust here. Eight five the score, and it's getting late early for Glenridge. Ball worked around the perimeter, still here. The pick up, the move forward by Benson, and a save made. I mean, Nazarian has made several crucial stops in this one. Oh yeah, take Nazarian out of the goal and you may be looking at a very different game here. He has been just been, about as good as anybody on the team, really. He's been stellar. You might, you might be talking to a couple people after the game. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I could interview the whole team. Right, there's still time to play. Four minutes and change. Lob forward, another shot bounces wide and it'll again go to Glenridge. A stoppage. And now put back into play. Pass up top and another one sails over the net. Timeout being called. We'll take it with them here. Late fourth quarter. It's 8-5 Mendham here on Mars Sussex Sports. Hmm. Huh.
8 5 to score, 342 to go here in the fourth. Brent Luthner, Matt Javoni here with you. Mendham with the lead. Glenridge got the first goal. Mendham got a pair in the first quarter. They have not looked back. Well, they've looked back because it's been close, but they have not conceded the lead since. That's the most impressive part about this game so far is the fact that Glen Ridge has been able to score and get back into it at times, and Mendham has not folded. Picked up Mendham. Uh, Glen Ridge got as close as five to four before Mendham rattled off three in a row. Moving forward and getting bumped a bit. Griffin Coots. I said Coots before, my apologies, but Coots. And that's turned back over to Glenridge, and you see Mendham racing back. Ball back into play now. And need to move it forward a little bit quickly here. Taking it up now, Brennan Lyons. Actually crossed the midfield stripe with that. They're trying to do whatever they can to push forward to get some goals back on the board. Yeah, they're going to need to get in a spurt. We know they can do it. They just have to show us what they've been able to do in the past. Another save made by Nazarian. Still worked around low to high, and that goes to the netting, another Glenridge restart. That shot, it, it was a deflection, it was a good challenge up high again. McLeod with the challenge, that sent that shot a little bit wide. Glenridge back in possession, in front, knocked away, and well, Mendham come away with it, still the battle. And Mendham does indeed come away with the ball. And a nice job by Nazarian to get the ball upfield. Knocked out of the stick, trying to... I'm uh, gonna get a whistle on that one. Yep, uh, it's gonna go against Mendham. 136 to go here in this fourth, uh, unofficially, of course. Although, Vinny's done a great job, you know, with the timing and everything. That pass is behind. It's going to run out. Mendham will get the ball again with... Uh, we've got 124, give or take a couple seconds. And now I could finally say with a little bit of confidence, I think Mendham's just looking to run out the clock. Well, yeah, they're going to want to possess. That pass is going to be run down. Still battled for. And it'll be Mendham ball here. I think the crowd on the other side feeling it as well. Clock starts again. Everybody's starting to celebrate here, except for the players on the field. Mendham's doing a very good job of keeping their heads in the game until the very end. Work back out. Good reception, that. Carter has got a couple of goals on this one. Carter going around. A couple of Ridgers surround him there. Still with the ball, though. Just work behind, and this is a big win for Mendham. And really, here's a play in front. That's going to be a whistle. Yeah, this is not only going to be Mendham's first win, but all, or not their first win, their second, second win, win yeah. but it's going to be their first divisional win yeah. up against the top of the division in Glen Ridge. This is definitely what you would call a a se uh, season turner, something, yeah. that, a game that 
really can turn a season around. Picking up the ball and jogging it back is Timoney. It's knocked in the air. And Mendham, statement win with an 8-5 victory over Glenridge here. A quick timeout. And we'll have our final thoughts here on Mars Sussex Sports. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. Jen Basilino of the Kosher Real Estate Group, LLC, is a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. Me and this Back here on Morris Sussex Sports. 8-5 Mendham uh, getting that season back on track now. 2-4 and four, Glenridge, 4-2. Four we got our Climate Care LLC player of the game. There are so many different Mendham players we can choose from. You're probably going to be talking to a couple of them. Uh, but in the end, we chose, uh, we, we chose to go with George Monaghan with the hat trick. Yeah, I mean... Coming into the game, he only had three goals on the season. He doubles that production today. He's now totaled six on the season. George Monahan, somebody who, I'm not going to say unexpected, but somebody who coming into this game you wouldn't have looked to to be one of the main contributors, and he scored three goals right, in go, go ahead, clutch go time. Go away, everybody. We got something coming up. Senior day. All right. So they're going to do senior day here. So flowers are out. Let's um, let us stick around and uh, enjoy the ceremony here. We're going to hear it on the loudspeaker here too. So, all right, people. I'm going to tell you. Is everybody ready? All right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. What a beautiful day today. What a sweet win. Let's hear it for him. Come on, boys. All right. So it's with great pleasure that we bring you our 2023 Mendham Boys Lacrosse Senior Day. All right, seniors. So let's uh, please join us in acknowledging and celebrating our senior players for their years of dedication to the Mendham High School lacrosse program. Let's hear it, people. So I'd like to, de to, to direct everyone's attention to the field at this time as we present our seniors and their attending parents. Parents, are you ready over there? All right, here we go. Our first senior, number eight, attackman Patrick Carter. Patch is accompanied by his parents, Gene and John Carter. Patrick will be attending Mercyhurst University on a football scholarship. Go Lakers! Come on, Gene and John. There you go. All right, here we go. Smile. All right, next up, number seven, captain and attack man, Charlie Dagnan. 
Charlie is accompanied by his mom, Kathleen. Charlie will be attending Auburn University and plans to study broadcast journalism. Go Tigers! All right, next up, number 24, defensive middle, midi, David Fries. David is accompanied by his father, Peter. In the fall, David will be attending Purdue University to study engineering. Go Boilermakers! Coming up next, number 19, captain and lawn stick midi, John Holtz. John is accompanied by his parents, Liz and Bob. John will be attending Old Miss where he'll be in the Army ROTC and majoring in criminal justice. Go Rebels! Very nice. Next up, number nine. Captain and midfieldman, Michael Katarski. Michael is accompanied by his mother and father, Kate and Mike. Michael will be attending Auburn University this fall as a finance major. He plans on playing for the university's club lacrosse team in the spring. Michael's favorite memory of this season was competing for the Red El Diablo ball in practice worth two points. Go War Eagles! Here we go, number 12. Up next, number 12, captain and attack man, Timmy LaRosa. Timmy is, is accompanied by his parents, Amy and Jeff. Timmy is attending Bucknell University in the fall, studying economics. He's also planning to play some club lacrosse. Go Bisons. All right, here we go. Up next. I'll let him take the picture. Very nice. Up next, number 55 defenseman, Mark Marano. Mark is accompanied by his parents, Laura and Peter. Mark will be attending the University of Colorado Boulder, baby, where he plans to study media and communications. Mark proudly began his uh, lacrosse career at Chester Mendham Rec in fifth grade. Go Buffaloes! Up next. Number 26, captain and defense mini, Jack McLeod. Jack is accompanied by his dad, Steve, and in the fall, he'll be attending Bucknell University. Jack would like everyone to know he is undefeated against Coach Smith and Ping Pong. 1-0. Go Bisons! Up next, number 15, defenseman, Collier McLeod. Yeah. Collier is, ex is accompanied by his mom, Tiffany. And in the fall, he'll be attending Northeastern University where he'll be studying bi business administration. Collier wants everybody to know that he's never been to the principal's office. I mean, maybe except for that one time with Gavin. Go Huskies! Next up, number 23, defenseman. Rosario Montana. Rosario is accompanied by his parents, Chris and Rosa. Rosario will be attending Virginia Tech in the fall and pursuing a major in mechanical engineering. Rosario also plans on enjoying hockey, football, wrestling, lacrosse as a spectator and in club. Rosario has an amazing senior, a Rosario had an amazing senior year playing football, wrestling, and lacrosse and was honored to be one of the wrestling captains this past season. Good job, brother. Next up, number 79 goalie, Andrew Pabon. Andrew is accompanied by his parents, Pamina and Henry. Great job this season, Andrew. There you go. Beautiful. Next up, number 16. That's right, number 16. He's here. Captain and face-off specialist, 
Jack. Say it with me, people. So shut up. Jack is accompanied by his parents, Amy and Tim, his brothers, Charlie and Tommy. Jack will be attending the Catholic University of America in Washington, D.C., and will be pursuing a degree in business. Jack will be playing lacrosse for Catholic University Cardinals. Jack would also like to thank his parents, his brothers, his teammates, and coaches for their support over the years. Go Cardinals! Next up, number 13, captain and midfielder, Gavin Timoney. Gavin is accompanied by his parents, Peggy and Gavin. Gavin will be attending Williams College in Massachusetts. Will he be playing lacrosse? Gavin's mother would really like to tell you everybody how proud she is of him. She didn't write anything really witty for this moment, but she's really proud. Go Purple Cows! All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, let's Put our hands together for these seniors. Thank you, gentlemen, for your dedication to the program. We wish you well on your future endeavors. May you play the next chapter of your life with the same head, heart, and hustle you played this great game of lacrosse. So this concludes our presentation. All players and parents are welcome to join us on the field side to continue the celebration while our JV takes the field. Let's go, Mendham! And that wraps the Senior Day Ceremony. And that wraps our coverage here on Morris Sussex Sports. A good one for Mendham. They win this one by the final score of 8-5 over Glen Ridge. Julia Godson on the cameras. Vincenzo, Sebast Vincenzo Sebastiano is on a, our production here today for Matt Giovanni. My name is Brett Luthner. Thanks for watching this presentation of New Jersey High School Boys Lacrosse on Morris Sussex Sports. Mend them the winners here on Senior Day. Waterman Division battle. Mendham seventh place coming into this one. One in four overall. As the goaltenders will start to go. Oh, that's the uh, Glenridge players, by the way. You gotta hope that Mendham wouldn't be booing their own guy this early. Nope. Well, a nice run through by Gavin Timoney, number 13, and finally had the puck knocked off of his stick. That's a rough ride there from the number 12, Timmy LaRosa. And an in score. And it's a 1 0 lead for the Ridgers. And that's just simple being able to pass it inside there and getting their. Arian. It's the second good save we've seen from him in this first quarter. Nazarian could be a factor in this game. Quick run out the other way and score! It was run up by Timmy LaRosa. Pat Carter finishes off, and we're tied at one. That's deflected. Good deflection out up top on that opportunity, and it was the 91 of Jimmy Benson breaking everything up. Here's another one in front score. Well, LaRosa got the ball back, and it's like, oh, I'll take See if a stick is having issues and be able to take the time out and call that and look at the stick, it's just. Basket might be too deep. That stick just got slapped out of the hand there. Good stick work by the 19 of John Holtz. Mendham, five for five in the circle in the first period plus. Sent up top and a goal right off the bat. Another goal, it's a three one minute man. Face-offs are gonna be the, the the deciding factor, at least early going here in this game. Some of the Glenridge play, that's a knockdown. Another shot, another goal. Second in a row from Monahan, and it's 4-1. Where did this come from, George Monahan? 
That ground ball will be battled for all over the place. And now finally, Glenridge will race on forward. Here's the move ahead, a shot and a score. The number 24 of David Kelly. Glad to have worked with uh, Vinny for a few years now. He's been my producer for several games. Nice one in front and another goal. It's Pat Carter, his second of the game, and it's 5-2, Mendham. And that was just, I, I didn't want to jinx it, but that was a... There's an opportunity now for the Ridgers going the other way. Rista, that's a score, that's a beautiful shot that time. Will Benson, and he's cut to 5-3. Type of game, the 5-3 defensive game is what Mendham wanted to do. They wanted to shut down that explosive Glen Ridge offense. And there's one. So Glen Ridge on the board again. It's now 5-4. And this one will be a big knockdown and a whistle. Statisticians for Glenridge helping us out in a couple of the numbers. They had just updated their roster this afternoon. Oh, what a pass and what a goal. Have that you, is a beaut. Have you ever seen an alley-oop in lacrosse? Because I think that's just what we saw there. Yeah, pretty much. Best well, they've played offensively well. They've really run into their sets and really have found the gaps. And they win a base off here in the move forward. Jackson Kanna, who's won so many of them and scores. George Monahan's got three. Play again. Stutter step, spin move, turn towards goal, and a save made. Rebound and front score. Katarski's initial stop was uh, shot was stopped, but Gavin. Onto you, you could tell they want to be able to run in there, get a little bit of get a little bit of pressure on the inside, and they haven't had any of that. Sent out up top, here's a shot and another save made. Battle for and there's a flag on the play. So the port, so thank you again to West Mars Mendham Boosters. And this one here this afternoon. Please, if you're, there's a so nice shot and a nice goal. It's three for Will Benson. He's got 19 on the season. And in this Waterman division battle, Mendham seventh place coming into this one, one in four overall. As the goaltenders will start to go.